right now. New at 6, a guilty verdict in an intoxication manslaughter case coming in late this afternoon. The woman, who we are not identifying because she's a sexual assault victim in an unrelated case, convicted in the 2013 death of 47-year-old Charles Smith. Smith was walking alongside the road in the 1000 block of Ray Ellison Drive in July of 2013 when the woman veered off the road and hit him. Witnesses testified that the woman was high on drugs, not alcohol at the time. The punishment phase of the trial set to begin Monday morning. She's facing up to 20 years in prison. Meantime, all week long, we've seen showers and storms throughout South Texas in the Hill Country with brief heavy downpours in the downtown area earlier today. You might want to include an umbrella in your weekend plans, too, because it looks like rain chances are sticking around. Adam Kasky has the latest on those chances coming up in your Weather Authority forecast. It's a miracle they both survived. Those words coming from a trauma surgeon who treated a pregnant woman and her baby who were hit by a car waiting at a bus stop. It's really an incredible story. This happened on August 28th at the stop at Calabra and Zarzamora. The woman was eight months pregnant. Today I talked with that mother and her surgeon who will now forever share an incredible bond. This guy had asked me what time it was, and I looked at him, said the time, and then I hear screeching. Her initial injury uh, broke a lot of her ribs, and one of her ribs went through her lung and through her heart. The next second I woke up and I'm on the ground, and I couldn't breathe. But I could feel my son moving, so it kind of like comforted me a little bit, making sure that he was still okay. Stephanie Johnson Athey was rushed to University Hospital and into the care of Dr. Doug Picorni. When she lost her pulse, uh, essentially her heart stopped, she wasn't breathing, she was clinically dead. As fast as I could, uh, grabbed a knife and performed a c-section right there on the bed. We had the baby out in under a minute. We opened her chest up all the way and uh, essentially took her heart out of that pericardial sac and removed all the blood clot and started to compress it like CPR but from the inside. I woke up with like a tube in my throat to, to help me breathe. I had a feeding tube, my arms were restrained so I wouldn't pull the tube out. And yet she had a feeling her son was all right and he was. At first, mom and baby could only see each other through FaceTime. When I finally saw him in person, I couldn't hold back. I was crying. Holding him for the first time was amazing, too. Dr. Bacorny says fewer than 2% of patients with injuries like Stephanie's survive. And he calls her recovery so far phenomenal. This is, is definitely um, probably one of the highlights of my career in medicine. I mean, I, I don't think there will ever be anything that can quite compare to this. I'd rather him survive than me. Um, but we got lucky that both of us did. We're going to tell him when he's older that he, when he can comprehend how, what, how special he is and what a miracle he is that he, we all survived that. This is truly something that just doesn't happen, and it did this time. Wow. It's a true miracle. It's amazing. Dr. Bacorny visits Stephanie every day in the hospital. The two will be linked forever. Stephanie still has more recovery to go, and her son Ethan is still in the NICU, but both are doing well. Great to hear. The number of people reported sick in connection to a local restaurant is now up to 255 with laboratory evidence of salmonella for 14 of them. While the salmonella outbreak at Pasha Mediterranean Grill on Wurzbach Road is causing concern, Garrett Berger tells us this is a common infection and it may not be restaurants you need to be most worried about. With increasing numbers of people reported sick from a salmonella outbreak at a restaurant, Concern about eating out is understandable, but you may want to be warier of eating in. I think one's own kitchen is probably the more likely way that you get infected if you look at the city as a whole. Salmonella is an infection that the CDC says causes about 1.2 million people in America every year to get sick with some unpleasant symptoms. It causes fever, chills, diarrhea, and sometimes nausea and vomiting. Abdominal pain is common as well. Dr. George Crawford says you can get salmonella salmonella from infected people and even animals like chicks and turtles but the most common cause poultry that's been improperly cooked or processed or stored at the wrong temperature so watch that chicken 
and always clean up after handling it to avoid cross-contamination. So for example, if you have a cutting board that you put the raw chicken on, you don't want to put the cooked chicken on the same cutting board later because that will contaminate it. Your precautions don't need to be crazy. Soap and water should clean up your cooking utensils nicely and it'll do for your hands as well. Most people recover after a few days, but it can get serious. So get help if you have fevers for longer than a few days and have dehydration symptoms. Gary Berger, KSAT 12 News. An Eastside man, the victim of gunfire again. Police say he's a paraplegic and was in his bed when his family's home when, when it was sprayed with bullets. He was shot in the head. It happened on DeFost Avenue near I-10 and MLK Drive. As Katrina Weber reports, neighbors say it is not the first time they've seen trouble there. I own this house and I own the second house on the corner. As a lifelong East Sider, Camino Smith has seen a lot, but he was hoping he'd never have to see again what happened around 10 last night. Just heard the shots, boom, 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 boom. So it wasn't an AK, it was a regular gun. It was coming from the home next door here on DeFost Avenue. San Antonio police say someone shot up his neighbor's home, hitting a 36-year-old man who's a paraplegic. Smith has known him and his family for years. He was strapped to a chair, basically. Yeah, because he's paralyzed from when, when he got hit in the other location. He and other neighbors say a shooting a few years ago left that man unable to walk. This time, police told us he could lose even more. From the looks of things, whoever was firing at this house was doing so wildly. There are bullet holes in several rooms. But somehow, one of those hit that man. Police say he took a direct hit to his head. Actually, here in the neighborhood, we just tired of it. I mean, what else can we do? The same house was the scene of another shooting we covered nearly two years ago. In December 2016, a man was shot dead on the front lawn. Smith doesn't believe the violence here is random. And you got to wonder what's so vindictive about this, this thing, you know? Police so far haven't talked about a motive or found who's responsible. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. New at 6, police at the UTSA main campus need your help finding this man. Their police department tweeting out these surveillance photos of a suspect they say is connected with several thefts on campus. They're asking anyone with any information to contact UTSA police. The number, 210-458-4242. To Time Saver Traffic now, let's take you to the TransGuide camera here at I-10 and Ralph Fair Road. You can see there's a car, it looks like, on both sides of the median here. Looks like there's a tow truck on one side in front of that white vehicle. And then there's a police cruiser uh, over in front of this, looks like a silver vehicle. We don't know exactly what happened here, if this was a wreck or a stalled car uh, or maybe a, a wreck because of traffic slowing down because of whatever happened first. But at I-10 and Ralph Fair, you can see the traffic is slow in both directions because of two cars that look like they're in the median there. New at six, if you think TxDOT is all about building highways, think again. Right now, the state's Department of Transportation is working on a different type of project that includes digging for ancient remains. Take a look. It started out as an unusual discovery by a bridge inspector during a routine bridge inspection. Noticed what he thought looked like uh, human remains, and so he, uh, as he should, called um, local law enforcement. At first, detectives and Texas state forensic investigators thought they had a cold case on their hands and were stunned once they examined the skeleton and found out what they were dealing with. They discovered an arrow point dating to about a thousand years ago called uh, an Edwards point. It's a type of arrowhead. Um, nestled in the, the pelvis area. Under a bridge in Frio County was an ancient burial ground. Not a crime scene, but in fact an archaeological find. Once investigators knew there was no need to search for any suspects, the excavation process was turned over to TxDOT's archaeological division. And we arranged with the forensic um, experts at Texas State to continue their work. More digging led to another shocking find. The body was buried in, in what looks to be a, a, a thousand year old or more um, house, which is a very unusual find um, for this part of the state. A house researchers believe burned up. There was a, a pit with, with a wooden superstructure of, of various branches 
uh, woven together, tied together, and then covered with mud. As far as how the bridge inspector was able to make the find. After the bridge was built, there was some erosion. The remains are being stored in a secure facility at Texas State. Reach researchers have not said which native tribe the remains are affiliated with. What a story. Yes. Wow. Who thought you'd find remains under a bridge? Yeah, more details to come on that one for sure. A look outside with live cam this afternoon. 90 degrees. The temperatures are nice, but more rain possibly, oh. Adam? Yeah, we're looking at more showers on the way. Not necessarily out there right now, but they could pop up pretty much at any moment. That's the thing. It's that type of a weather pattern where you get these showers to pop up anytime. And by the way, the aquifer is up 11 and a half feet since Monday and still rising with more rain likely. Locally right now, not a whole lot of activity, but we do have some outflow boundaries that are colliding and they have developed a few isolated showers farther to the northeast of San Antonio and they've been lifting away just to the west of us, south of Rio Medina. We have some showers pushing northward and we'll keep an eye out for little pop-ups around Bear County, but so far it's been a quiet afternoon after some good rainfall earlier this morning. Chat more about that, Hurricane Florence and increasing rain chances for part of the weekend. Coming up, Devin. All right, thank you, Adam. When high school football teams take the field tonight, they could be dealing with more than just opposing offenses and defenses. It could get a little wet. Larry Ramirez joins us live from San Marcos with a preview of some of tonight's big matchups. Plus, is technology leading to poor posture, headaches, and neck problems? What experts say you can do to combat tech neck next at 6. the red, white, and blue tag sale now at Cons Home Plus. Save up to 35% or more on red tag appliances. Text play with the 42614 to see all the deals in store. More and more people are finding themselves in a Chevy for the first time. You can too during the Chevy Labor Day sales event. Now use Labor Day cash to get a total value of $87.50 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus, trade up and get an additional $32.50 total cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. This Labor Day, discover why Chevy is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. Welcome to this Health Matters Today TV Spotlight. Are you or someone you know suffering from numbness, burning, tingling, or pain in your hands or feet, even balance problems? It's called peripheral neuropathy, and the next few moments could offer welcome relief. With us today is Dr. John Coppola of the San Antonio Neuropathy Center to discuss a breakthrough treatment for peripheral neuropathy that's changing lives. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Dr. Coppola, what causes peripheral neuropathy? Shelley, most people are aware that diabetes is a significant risk factor, but the reality is diabetes only accounts for about a third of the cases. The other two-thirds are misdiagnosed as idiopathic or simply of unknown cause. Hmm, but that's not what you found? Correct. In researching for the book I wrote on neuropathy, we found that most cases were due to blood pressure or cholesterol medications, even chemotherapy, spinal-related conditions like stenosis, disc herniations, and even exposure to industrial and household chemicals can be a contributing factor. Hmm. So how is your clinic treating the condition? Well, our treatment is non-surgical, non-invasive, and completely drug-free. We use a multidisciplinary approach that includes FDA-cleared infrared laser therapy as well as a proprietary neuropathy treatment formula called Neurogen that's reducing pain, repairing nerves, and restoring function. And how are patients reacting to the treatments? Well, patients are doing extremely well. In fact, our clinic has over a 90% patient satisfaction rating. So if someone's being told they simply have to live with their condition, we can share numerous patient success stories where we've either reduced or eliminated neuropathy pain and symptoms. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. And let's tell our viewers how they can get in touch with you for more information. See if you qualify for Dr. Coppola's proven neuropathy treatment protocol. Call the toll-free number on your screen now. If you qualify, this offer is limited to the first 25 callers. Make the call now.
dilapidated houses into dream homes. Coming up tonight on the Night Beat, we'll tell you about a city program that helps low-income seniors make repairs to their homes or even build them a new one. Plus, she was the face of Miss San Antonio three years ago, and she continues to be an inspiration to young people. Tonight on the Night Beat, how Emma Rudkin continues to give back to the community in this week's What's Up South Texas. With the constant use of technology these days comes Tech Neck, the act of holding your head in a flexed forward position. Looking at screens can cause stress on your spine. Over long periods of time, that can lead to disc injury, muscle strain, and even arthritic changes in the neck. Ursula Perry reveals some ways to combat Tech Neck. Most people spend an average of two to four hours a day reading and texting on their smartphones. That's up to 1,400 hours a year. If that sounds like a lot to you or your teenagers, experts have advice. Monitoring screen time, I think, is going to become very important. Besides limiting screen time, try adding exercises into your routine. Begin in a neutral stance with your shoulders pulled down and away from your ears. First, roll your shoulders forward and bend your neck forward. Then overcorrect the position by rolling your shoulders back and pointing your head to the ceiling. Second, tuck your chin toward the center of your neck and then bring it up back to a neutral stance. Third, raise your hands all the way up over your head then bring them down to your sides. And then fourth, squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you and then relax. Experts recommend doing at least 10 reps of each exercise per day. Every five minutes, set an alarm until you get into the mode of actually stretching backwards or standing up. You can also try purchasing a tablet holder that will elevate your tablet to get rid of the neck stress or take it another step further and get a standing desk so that you can actually burn calories while you work and hopefully eliminate tech neck. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News. Tech neck, we're all gonna get it. Mm, I think we have it yeah, to an extent. Yeah, because we all, we all do yeah. this. Yeah, bunch of zombies around this world these days, yeah. you know? I know. Times. What have happened changed. to just having a conversation <laughs> when there's nothing going on? Man, and what happened to the sun? <laughs> well, we have a little bit of it. See, he, he's good at deflecting. Yeah. <laughs> he's getting the hang of this. Moving right along. He's getting the hang try, of this I'm nicely. Trying to practice yeah. those <laughs> yep. postures. Getting the hang of this. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Welcome, Devin. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. So, getting me back on track here. Yes. <laughs> we do have some areas of sunshine out there right now. And I'm going to show you a really cool time lapse in a moment and the radar, of course. And we have Florence out in the Pacific and more rain this weekend. Jam-packed, jam-packed. So let's start with our pollen count. Ugh, side effect of the rainfall. Mold, it's very high with a count of over 12,000 in ragweed is on the low end at 10. Here's a look at radar. A little bit of activity out there. Not a whole lot, not as much as what we saw the past couple of days. We have the clouds overhead and they're trying to build upward. They just can't quite build that tall for the time being. And as we lose our daytime heating, our odds of rain will really come down. So after sunset, if you don't have a shower, odds are against you having one over your outdoor activities or even a football game. A few boundaries did come together and collide, you know, just north of Seguin, basically, in Guadalupe County. And that activity quickly came to an end, but it did cause a few showers. And then even off to the west, uh, basically approaching Rio Medina, some showers just to the south of you moving northward. Just some heavy rain right now, but no lightning associated with it. A lot of outflow boundaries close to La Prior in the vicinity of La Prior, and even some showers to your south, but basically west and southwest of San Antonio, a lot of boundaries. And as they come together and interact, they could flare up some new showers. This is a beautiful map. All this rainfall, so much rain that we've had. This isn't just today, by the way. This is basically all week long, and it's been very good soaking rain. Okay, notice in the time lapse, the clouds do build upward, but they have a hard time getting very vertical until toward the end here. Look at this, just over downtown, we're starting to see one area of clouds really grow up, and that could turn into a really quick shower, right? basically over north central San Antonio. So that's what we're keeping an eye on uh, right now. As we, I won't be surprised if we get a little downpour quickly on the radar screen. 91 degrees, our high temperature today, the average being 93. The record high, just 100. 73 in Hondo for the dew points, 71 in Uvalde. Dew points are way up there. It is sticky, and it's going to remain that way because of all the moisture we have in the air. And our entire, the entire column of air above us is just full 
of moisture. And all it takes is the right kind of thunderstorm to develop, to wring it all out. And I think the, that's gonna be happening as we get into the middle part of the weekend. Right now we're at 90 degrees in town, but 70s in the hill country where we've had more showers and even a lot of clouds throughout the day. Lubbock right now at 69 along with Amarillo. Well, that's where we have a lot of rain and they're even behind a very weak boundary. This surface boundary is going to help out a little bit as we get into the weekend. And there's also some upper level support coming in behind it. So I'm not surprised that we have most of the activity off to the northwest of us now. And I expect that to move our way by Sunday morning and even some showers. Yes, tomorrow, but I think the heaviest and uh, most concentrated will be Sunday morning. Florence. Maximum sustained winds at 65, still a tropical storm, likely to move westward, become a major hurricane possibly into next week, and potentially a threat to the east coast of the U.S. So tomorrow, we'll start the day at 75, 89 the high, a few showers in the morning, becoming scattered in nature by the afternoon and evening. I think the most widespread rain and some heavy downpours and the biggest chance for flash flooding will be on Sunday morning as the boundary drops in and we also have some upper level support. Very slow moving, heavy showers. So taking you through time here as we get into Saturday, yeah, during the afternoon, 4 p.m., the most common time to see the scattered showers and storms. I wouldn't go canceling any outdoor plans this weekend, but it's one of those situations you have to ha be able to have, make a game time decision. But I will tell you, Sunday morning is the most likely time for the heaviest rain and most widespread heavy showers. Otherwise, into next week, we dry out a bit and you know, temperatures still in the low to mid 90s. So not an entire weekend washout, but there, I do think there will be periods where we see some heavy downpours and the most likely time, as I said, Sunday morning. Well, we asked for rain and got it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank get you, Adam. Some more. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. All right. It is Friday, which means more big game coverage. Let's go live to our Larry Ramirez, who was in San Marcos this evening. Hi, Larry. Yeah, hello guys. We are coming to you live from Rattler Stadium right here in San Marcos. And I'll tell you what, Coach Soto, the athletic director right here, he's really got a good playlist going. They are jamming out right now as they get ready for their second game of the regular season. Coming up, we'll talk more about San Marcos Rattlers taking on the Johnson Jaguars tonight. Plus, the Holy Bowl is back. We got it. Coming up. The dog days of summer are here. Cool off with these specials from SA Specialties. Get a 15-seer heat pump or 16-seer gas complete equipment changeout. Only $49.98. All sizes. That's right. Get a complete equipment changeout for only $49.98. Call SA Specialties today to get your free estimate and start your savings today. The dog days of summer are here. Don't get caught up in the heat. Call SA Specialties today. 210-658-0440. Since 1931, Allen & Allen Company has been sourcing one-of-a-kind building and design products to fit your personal style. Our comprehensive offerings combined with our experienced staff makes Allen & Allen the premier spot for specialty building materials in San Antonio. We're your source for lumber and customized woodwork. Explore our showroom full of decorative hardware, doors and windows, and kitchen and bathware. Allen & Allen Company. We specialize in special. We're born curious. We grow. We learn. We change. Some San Antonio schools are changing to foster this curiosity. Teachers cutting through red tape to put students ahead of bureaucracy. More innovative public schools, including charter schools, teaching our kids the skills they need in a changing world. When we embrace new ways to learn, our kids make progress. Let's keep moving forward. Tomorrow in Seguin, shot at rain, especially later on in the day, in a high temperature of 88. Beto O'Rourke says there's no crisis on the border. Of course there is, and O'Rourke's part of the problem. Rolling out the red carpet for illegal immigrants, taxpayer-funded benefits, sanctuary cities, while voting against body armor for Texas sheriffs patrolling the border. Now O'Rourke's talking about abolishing ICE, giving free reign to Mexican drug cartels. Lawless borders, reckless politician. That's Beto O'Rourke. Texans are as responsible for the content of this advertising. If you've been hurt in a car crash and need protection from the big insurance companies, call the Villarreal and Begum Texas Law Guns now at 844-LAW-GUNS. Friendship is the Texas state motto. And our way of being friendly 
is with dessert. Get the Texas Blizzard Meal Deal. A hunger buster, fries, a drink, and a mini blizzard, all for $5.99. Eat like a Texan. DQ. John killed himself. I had no idea that he was depressed. You are stronger than all of us combined. Maybe John's death is a wake-up call. How can I not see it? We're here for you. As bad as this seems, there is good, and you will find it. A Million Little Things, a new drama, Wednesday, September 26th on ABC. I tell you what, the moves need a little bit of work, a little bit rusty. The knees and, and hips hurt a little bit, but we like to we like to culture our kids with a little old school rap every now and then. I saw uh, Coach Soto dancing, uh, and feel free to speak your mind here because it's okay. Tell me about his moves. I mean, they yeah, I. <laughs> you still have your parachute pants? No, I don't have them. They don't fit anymore. <laughs> They're more like leggings now. <laughs> Coach Soto can still do the running man. Don't let him tell you otherwise. Wednesday, he had the Rattlers jam into old school tunes like MC Hammers, You Can't Touch This, and Big Board Sports. Good evening, everybody, and welcome live to San Marcos High School, where tonight the Rattlers will take on the Johnson Jaguars. Both teams lost their season openers, and both still have two non-district games to go, including tonight before they play those all-important district contests. Now, San Marcos is coming off a 10-2 season and appearance in the second round of the playoffs. Led by their seventh-year head coach, Mark Soto, the Rattlers drop their season opener to Hayes, 28-17, right here at Toyota Rattler Stadium. They play without their lead running back, though, Jamone Johnson. Coach Soto told me he is expected back tonight. Now, in that loss to Hayes, the Rattlers made some good plays, but said they beat themselves. So, what did they learn from that contest? That we just need to have more effort whenever we come out, because when we put ourselves in a hole, we're not very good at, like, digging it out. Like, this isn't the same team as last year. This is a new team, and now we need to come out harder than ever. Uh, in the first game, I mean, we learned that we had the effort. It's just... We just didn't have it the whole game. Like we, we have the capability to be winning ball games. Cause there was times in the game where we were playing to win, but then it got to a point where it felt like we we're we we're almost playing to to not lose. We learned that we need to start fast and finish strong. We learned that uh, you know you got to play consistently throughout the game. I think the lights were a little bit bright for our young guys, and uh, you know to settle down and play well at times is is refreshing. But we we need to be able to play well the whole game. Jaguars lost their season opener to the Brandeis Broncos, a.k.a. the Peanut Butter Bowl, 35-17. Johnson is one of the better 6A programs in the area and just the non-district test that Rattlers needed and wanted. Uh, Johnson's a great team. Coach Ritterman over there is one of my friends. Uh, he won't be too friendly on Friday night, but, you know, he, he's a great coach, does a great job with his program. It's a class act all the way, just like they run. From a, from a defensive standpoint, I mean, we got we got to see a lot more passing plays, so it's a lot kind of more exciting for us DBs rather than last week when we just had to play the run. So we'll see a lot more of that. But they do have some athletes, but it's nothing that we shouldn't be able to handle. I think they're very, like, Explosive opponent. Um, they're always in the backfield, always around making plays, but I think we got them. And here's the road trip this week Johnson at San Marcos, Georgetown Eastview at New Braunfels Canyon Cougars, and last stop, we'll see Seguin at the New Braunfels Unicorns. And how about this? After a four year hiatus, the Holy Bowl is back on between Central Catholic and Holy Cross. You know, those fans have been waiting for that one. Now, the Buttons and Knights are all set to clash on the football field for the 47th time. Central leads the series 35 11. Now, due to scheduling conflicts, the rivals last faced each other in the 2013 game, with Holy Cross coming out on top 21 14. It's actually my the seniors' first time playing, and it's pretty. It's a pretty big deal for our school and for their school, and just having it back is pretty exciting. Are you excited about the Holy Bowl coming back? Yes, I am. It's just about two teams coming together and playing. I think high school rivalries create just a a pageantry and an excitement that. Uh, you know, sometimes I think it's good for the game. I think it helps us, you know, value what we're doing a little bit more. And uh, the, the Holy Bowl is a great opportunity to do that. All right, that game is tomorrow night, 7 at Alamo Stadium. Hey, you're taking a live look. The snake is out. The Rattlers ready to take on the Jaguars. We'll have those highlights tonight on the Night Beat. Guys, back to you. Another busy evening on the road. Thanks, Larry.
All right, still to come at 6, Dallas police investigating an officer-involved shooting that left one man dead. The strange circumstances that detectives are trying to untangle. And a former Trump campaign aide heading to jail in connection with special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian election tampering. The sentence for George Papadopoulos, next at 6. Your case at app. The information you need when you need it. Breaking news alerts that always link. And when KSAT News is broadcasting live, your KSAT app is streaming live. Local, trusted, and constantly updated. Your KSAT app, in partnership with Ansira. Ulysses, his sister Molly, Henry, who's seven. I want to be there with them, but more importantly, I want to anticipate the question that they're going to ask me in the years to come. When everything that mattered to us was on the line, where were you? Let's meet the pettiness, the bigotry, the anxiety that dominates so much of national life today with a courage, a strength, a big heart that could only be born of Texas. I'm Beto O'Rourke and I approve this message. Tonight, it's Stand Up to Cancer at 7. What would you do at 8, 2020 at 9, and the night be at 10? You wanted to save on prescriptions. So you went online and got so lost in a mumbo jumbo of copays, coupons, and codes that your brain went offline. Next time, ask your CVS pharmacist. Our proprietary search tool analyzes ways to help lower your prescription costs. Just drop in before you conk out. See what you might say at CVS Pharmacy. My mom's tough. She came to this country, raised me as a single mom. When she got sick, cancer learned how tough she really is. But so did the insurance companies. I'm Gina Ortiz Jones, and I approve this message. Because no one should have to fight to make insurance companies pay while they're fighting for their lives. Affordable health care is something we all deserve. In Congress, I'll be tough enough to make sure we get it because I had a great example. It's time for another year of Go Public Cool Schools, powered by Orange Theory Fitness. Our first month spotlights Friday Night Lights high school programs in Shirts Cibolo Universal City ISD. Go to salive.com and vote now. Bosses, bullies, conquistadores. El Paso's rich and powerful stay that way by controlling politicians like Beto O'Rourke. As Councilman Beto carried water for his wealthy father-in-law, the developer behind a downtown redevelopment scheme, pushing the city to bulldoze an historic Hispanic neighborhood using eminent domain. A government wrecking ball displacing poor families to enrich his own. Beto the Bully. Club for Growth Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. We got each other, and that's a lot for love. You give it a shot. GMA Day premieres this Monday on ABC. Have you lost a family member or a friend in a car or truck wreck? Call the fours right now. That's 444-4444. There's only one number to remember. Four. Special counsel Robert Mueller asking for a judge to sentence a former Trump campaign aide to six months behind bars. George Papadopoulos pled guilty to making false statements to FBI agents about his contact with individuals tied to Russia and attempts to set up a meeting between Russian officials and the Trump campaign. ABC's Janae Norman reports from Washington. He wasn't well known before working for the Trump campaign, but George Papadopoulos rose to prominence as the first campaign aide arrested in connection with special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. Now he's also the first to be sentenced. A judge giving him 14 days behind bars, one year supervised release, and 200 hours community service. I see Papadopoulos today. He's gonna be, I don't know Papadopoulos. I don't know him. I saw him sitting in one picture at a table. Pictured here, sitting at a table with the likes of President Trump and Jeff Sessions during the campaign, Papadopoulos has admitted to trying to set up a meeting between the campaign and Russian officials. He's believed to be the first Trump campaign advisor to be contacted by someone with suspected ties to the Russian government and was given a heads up about hacked emails tied to Hillary Clinton's campaign. Papadopoulos bragged about those emails to an ambassador, which led the FBI to begin investigating possible collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. 
Though he agreed to cooperate with the special counsel's team, prosecutors asked the judge to give him time behind bars, saying he continued to mislead them. The sentencing shows the Mueller investigation is nowhere near slowing down. President Trump has gone back and forth on whether he'd be willing to sit down with the special counsel, but his attorney insists on preconditions, including no questions about obstruction of justice. I don't want to be set up with a perjury trap. Number one. Number two, there was no obstruction and there was no collusion. And the sentencing comes on the same day an associate of Roger Stone, who is a close friend of the president's, testified before Robert Mueller's grand jury. Janae Norman, ABC News, Washington. Around Texas, the Dallas Police Department investigating a bizarre officer-involved shooting. They say an off-duty officer shot and killed a man inside of his own home. Officials say the officer headed home in uniform after her shift and went into the victim's apartment believing it was her own. Investigators did not say how she got inside, but at some point she fired her weapon at the man who really lived there. He was taken to the hospital where he died. We heard a bunch of yelling from outside our window, and then we could see all the cop cars from our balcony, and we could hear some gunshots. I hope they investigate and figure out what happened. But yeah, that's very sad. I'm going to be killed in my own apartment. You know? Investigators are still trying to figure out what led up to the shooting. The officer has been placed on administrative leave as Dallas police and the district's attorney's office investigate. A bumpy ride to school for a handful of students in the San Antonio ISD this morning. Their school bus rear-ended along I-10 near the Proban exit. That happened around 8 o'clock. Three kids and the driver were on board. Luckily, none of them were hurt. Another bus picked up the children and took them on to school. No word on if rain might have been a factor in that crash. The San Antonio Zoo showing some love to first responders this month and to the rest of us. Plus, get a free Whataburger for doing a good deed and a free outdoor movie to go with that chance of rain. Here's this week, Friday Freebies. Long, the San Antonio Zoo is celebrating first responders. Through the end of the month, police officers, firefighters, and EMTs can get free admission to the zoo. Just bring a valid ID to get this freebie, and up to four immediate family members can get half off standard admission. As for everyone else, this Sunday is Locals Day at the zoo, and that means up to half off a regular ticket. September is also Hunger Action Month, and the San Antonio Food Bank needs your donations to continue its mission to end hunger. So here's a little motivator for Whataburger. Make a donation of at least a dollar at any San Antonio or New Braunfels location, and you'll get a coupon for a free Whataburger with the purchase of a medium fry and 32-ounce drink. I mean, you were going to get those fries and drink anyways, right? The Potbelly Sandwich Shop wants to give you a free milkshake. Through Sunday, you can get a free shake at participating stores with any purchase when you say, Free Shake Friday. It even works on Saturday and Sunday, apparently. It doesn't have to make sense. It's a free shake. Potbelly Perks members are already getting this in their accounts. Garth Brooks fans, you probably have all the albums anyways, but you'll want this one too. A digital download of Garth's Triple Live from Ticketmaster. Just follow the link, fill out the form, and get the download. This is desktop only, and it's a limited time offer. Hemisphere Park continues 80s month this Saturday with another classic movie in the park. This time around, it's Better Off Dead starring John Cusack. Movies start at dusk. Bring picnic, lawn chairs and blankets, and an umbrella. It's been raining lately. As always, you can find links to these freebies on our website. Just click on the consumer section under the news tab. David Sears takes us to the schools whose football teams are facing off tonight under the Friday night lights and shows us what the other students are getting accolades for. That's next at 6. Come into a California Closet showroom to experience our quality materials and construction. CaliforniaClosets.com It's the get it quick. It all must go. Blow it out and save a bundle. Holiday red tag sale. Once a year sale. Hard to describe, but easy to enjoy. Hurry now to North Carolina Furniture Direct. Buy it today. Get it today. Tonight, come get your Longhorn favorites. The Outlaw Ribeye, the Parmesan Crusted Chicken, the Longhorn Salmon. The feeling, the flavor, the place. Longhorn Steakhouse. You can't fake steak. My name is Mark, but around HEB, they call me the boss of the sauce. 
My job is to travel Texas, looking for the best salsas and sauces. After tasting lots of options, we want to try some new flavors. And that's how Mark's Good Stuff got started. These are unique products with delicious ingredients. They're inspired by Texas taste and everything I loved about growing up around here. Like this salsa, named for my old high school football number. This is the Taste of Texas Department at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. More and more people are finding themselves in a Chevy for the first time. You can too during the Chevy Labor Day sales event. Now use Labor Day cash to get a total value of $87.50 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus, trade up and get an additional $32.50 total cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. This Labor Day, discover why Chevy is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. It's the get it quick. It all must go. Blow it out and save a bundle. Holiday red tax sale. Once a year sale. Hard to describe, but easy to enjoy. Hurry now to North Carolina Furniture Direct. Buy it today. Get it today. Officer Marcus Trujillo on Good Morning San Antonio from 430 to 7. We are in week two of the high school football season. A lot of big and important matchups tonight. One of the big games we will be covering, South Sand versus Harlandale. But before the teams hit the field, David Sears hit a couple of their classrooms and found some pretty good entertainers and some students who just might save your life one day. These two young ladies working on their CPR technique, something they plan to use one day as emergency medical technicians. Ever since I was little, I've always wanted to help people. In the medical field, the school gives us the perfect opportunity to get ready for that situation. This class at South San is providing them with some of the training they will need to reach their goal at graduation, passing the national registry exam. Under the guidance of Travis Chipman, an athletic trainer and EMT, the students have use of mannequins and equipment and even an ambulance simulator for detailed hands-on learning. Part of getting ready will be interning with the Bolverde Center for Emergency Health Services, and that includes ride-alongs. I'm looking forward to saving lives, honestly. Welcome to Harlandale High School in the band hall. Behind this door, no ordinary band class. No, this is mariachi class. This is just the second year for the class. It's very fun. It feels like a family. But now, under the direction of Eduardo Cantu, the class has grown to about 50 students. Class, it's fun because you get to know the people and playing the music is awesome. The students learning about the history of mariachi, the music, some even learning a new language. Getting to play this style of music is the ultimate for some. Mariachi has more heart to it than just playing. And then getting to perform this iconic music in front of family and friends and fellow students. For mariachi, it's crazy because they're like, oh my god, they have a mariachi. And then they're like, oh, they sound good too. So they get so amazed by it. David Sears, KZ12 News. Some of the student mariachi groups we have in our area are really good. That sounded pretty impressive. Yeah, they're so fun to listen to, <laughs> too. All right, taking a look outside with live cam right now. we got some pretty big clouds out there, Adam. Yeah, locally, though, they just aren't quite tall enough to really kickstart showers and storms. But earlier this morning, we picked up over half an inch of rain at the airport in a high of only 91. Not bad. We'll take a close look at radar and talk about the enhanced rain chances for part of the weekend. Coming up. and distracted truck drivers and defective equipment are common causes of trucking accidents. Thomas J. Henry has been helping 18-wheeler accident victims for more than 25 years. Call now. Our attorneys are available 24-7, nights and weekends. Now at Con's Home Plus, save a lot of green during our Labor Day red, white, and blue tag sale. Save up to 35% or more on red tag appliances. Save 50% on white tag furniture bonus offers. And save up to $1,900 on blue tag big screen TVs. Want a low monthly payment? Good credit or no credit, we've got you covered. Go to cons.com to get approved. You want a better life and a better Bosses, bullies, conquistadores. El Paso's rich and powerful stay that way by controlling politicians like Beto O'Rourke. 
As Councilman Beto carried water for his wealthy father-in-law, the developer behind a downtown redevelopment scheme, pushing the city to bulldoze an historic Hispanic neighborhood using eminent domain. A government wrecking ball displacing poor families to enrich his own. Beto the Bully. Club for Growth Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. Since Monday, the aquifer is now up 11 and a half feet and still rising with more rain in the forecast as well. Mold very high at over 12,000 ragweed low. More and more people are finding themselves in a Chevy for the first time. You can too during the Chevy Labor Day sales event. Now use Labor Day cash to get a total value of $87.50 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus, trade up and get an additional $32.50 total cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. This Labor Day, discover why Chevy is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. By now, you've probably heard a lot about the Duseum, from Little Town, where kids can grab a bite to eat at the Whataburger truck, to the Spy Academy. But there's a special exhibit open for a limited time only that helps kids plan for the next 300 years of life in San Antonio. KSAT meteorologist Katie Blake takes us through it in this week's Blake's Brainiacs. We've been celebrating the tricentennial all year, and while a lot of the events have been about the last 300 years, an exhibit at the Duseum is helping kids focus on the next 300. Dream Tomorrow Today will get your attention right away with old computer keyboards, CDs, and toys that have been repurposed as art. So this whole part is taking pieces of the past and then learning how to recycle them in the future. Head through the Noodle Forest and arrive at a really cool slide which will take you to Sketchtown. In Sketchtown, kids can create the vehicle of their dreams. Cars, trucks, helicopters, even UFOs. So the vehicle of my dreams, the KSAT 12 Dragon Chaser. Kids can then find the vehicle they colored on a big interactive screen. Can you tell me what you drew? Ow. What did you draw? Uh, I have a plane. Let me see. Then the kiddos can try their hand at city planning. Using a tablet and some blocks, it's up to them to create a well-balanced city before a big storm arrives. Don't forget to try the career generator where you can act it all out on the green screen. This exhibit will be open through the end of the year, but there's more coming to the Duseum this fall. A new bubble pavilion and a fairy garden. For Blake's Brainiacs, I'm Katie Blake. All right, outside today, we got some more rain in areas, mm -hmm. but we're not done yet. No, and I think as we get into the weekend, the rain chances really get enhanced, but mm. don't think it's gonna rain all weekend long, okay? okay I wanna okay. hammer that home because people see an increased chance of rain for the weekend, they think it's all 48 hours. Yeah, so don't just you know? plan to stay inside. Exactly, you okay. know, it's it's gonna be coming and going at times. But keep the umbrellas nearby. Yeah, I mean, look what we've had all week. We've had some good soaking rainfall, but then also periods of sunshine. It's gonna be an extension of that, but with a little added feature or two in the atmosphere that will enhance the coverage of the rain for a period of time. Let's take a look at our time lapse, and I know we were watching the vertical development toward the end of this. Remember last half hour we were talking about that on the left hand side of your screen. There it is and still billowing upward, but it's flattening out a little too much. Might squeeze out a few drops over parts of north central San Antonio. That'd probably be it. Otherwise, take a look at our dew points. Muggy, muggy, muggy. Overall, a very humid evening that we have out there. And temperature wise, we're looking at numbers right around 90 degrees. We've got a mixture of sun, clouds, and even a few spotty showers developing. You can see on the visible satellite imagery where you see those clouds poofing up. That's where you have the showers and even a few thunderstorms underneath them. So let's talk about those. Zooming in to parts of the hill country, a lot of the activity is really tapered off. Not much left over, a little bit in parts of rural Valverde County, north of Del Rio. Otherwise, look at this, moving through Floresville and really just east of Floresville, a little bit of lightning and thunder associated with this storm that's pushing northward. Um, it looks like it does have enough kick with it to last a bit longer there, probably another half hour or so. Now, as we go west of San Antonio, that's where we have this action. It's just east of Hondo, pushing northward, basically moving through Castroville right now, and it continues its trek northward, and it does look like it's gonna make it up toward the Rio Medina area here. So seeing those showers move into town, these aren't the most long-lived 
types of showers. This is going to push northward toward Medina Lake, but a lot of it could fall apart as it does make that venture northward. All right, so let's talk about rainfall accumulations today. Good stuff, especially in Medina County, right? around Hondo, over an inch estimated, and even out west. Now, off to the east, and especially from New Braunfels through Seguin and southward to parts of Carnes County, unfortunately, you've missed out on a lot of the good rain most of this week. Here's the wider view of what's happening. I mentioned a few features coming together. We've got some upper level support off to the north of us in Texas, and even this weak boundary. You know, technically, it's a cold front, but we're just going to call this a little boundary. And both of those features are already causing this widespread activity, shower activity, from San Angelo all the way up to Lubbock and elsewhere. A lot of action there. I expect that to be developing over us, especially by Sunday morning. So as we go through the day tomorrow, front drops into the hill country, better chance of rain in the hill country in the morning, some scattered showers across the area in the afternoon and evening. Then I expect some of the heaviest rain to really develop by very early Sunday morning. And remember, it's not going to take much to cause some flash flooding. So exercise caution on the roadways and uh, keep your app handy and we'll keep you updated as well. We'll be sending out push alerts if needed. 75 in the morning tomorrow, 83 at noon. Remember, it's not going to rain all weekend long. Look at the morning, about 30%, so highly isolated to start the day and then becoming a little more scattered into the afternoon. But the heaviest action, I think, will be by Sunday morning. We have a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, and it's just waiting to get squeezed out, and I think we'll have the ingredients to do so. And by the way, welcome back, Meyer. It's good to have you thank back you, from being thank sick. Thank you. Yes, I've got my... My cough drops under the desk here. <laughs> I noticed you take it out as I walked back to the desk. Sure did. <laughs> Sorry yeah, to call it's, you out. It's uh, somewhere discreet. <laughs> In case you missed, it's coming up next. <laughs> Is it not the most amazing thing you have ever seen? At Miracle Method, they take ugly bathrooms and bring them back to life. No more dirty grout lines, cracked tiles, and outdated colors. Don't replace, refinish. Visit us at MiracleMethod.com. Have you seen your neighbor on the orange zero turn? That can be you. Hi, I'm John Ewald from Ewald Kubota, just letting you know it's never been easier to own a Kubota zero turn mower. Now you can be the one maintaining, trimming, shaping that perfect yard. Right now, take advantage of low rate, long term financing. You can afford a Kubota zero turn from Ewald Kubota. Visit our website for a location nearest you. From the Gulf of Mexico to the hill country of Texas for over 70 years, Ewald Kubota is your Kubota dealer. The most advanced piece of equipment never saved anybody. A big shiny building never cured a disease. It takes people to do that, our people. We are dedicated, compassionate, driven healers who wake up every day determined to make a difference in the lives of people here in South Texas and around the world. How can healthcare improve for everyone? We're how, and you're why. UT Health San Antonio. I'm Gina Ortiz-Jones, and I approve this message. Sir, do you know who your congressman is? Uh, no, I don't. Well, it's this guy, Will Hurd. What has he been up to? The guy who helped Congress screw up health care? Well, Hurd voted for the Republican tax law that will raise taxes on millions of middle-class families and increase health care premiums. Plus, gives massive tax cuts to corporations and the wealthiest 1% of Americans. He didn't mention that on TV. <laughs> that seems bad. I know, right? Any thoughts on that, Will? Need an extra $4,500 cash? Mission Mitsubishi's Cash for Junkers has you covered. Buy a new Mitsubishi today and get an extra $4,500 junker bonus cash. That's $4,500 extra for the down payment, negative equity. Or keep the cash, trade or no trade, running or not. Buy a new Mitsubishi. Get $4,500 junker bonus cash while you're here. Test drive the all-new Eclipse Cross. Mission Mitsubishi on San Pedro, just outside of Loop 410. America's number one Mitsubishi dealer. If you or a loved one has been injured in an auto or truck accident, call us. We can help. Call 210-222-2288 or Google Carabin Shaw. It's a miracle. That's incredible. Yesterday, I couldn't look at them. Now, I can't stop looking. At Miracle Method, they take ugly countertops and make them beautiful. Wait until you see the bathroom. Don't replace, refinish. Visit us at MiracleMethod.com. We got each other and that's a lot for love. GMA Day premieres this Monday on ABC. Here's today's in case you missed it. It is.
is Friday. It's September 7th. After spending only two years in prison for the murder of her husband, Frances Hall was freed today. She was following him as he rode his motorcycle during a 2013 crash and was accused of deliberately running him off the road. I'm still kind of shell-shocked right now. Super, super shell-shocked. I can't kind of like, oh, I can't believe I'm out. A Bear County Sheriff's deputy arrested on suspicion of driving drunk. Sheriff's Office spokesperson Johnny Garcia tells us she has been suspended from the Special Emergency Response, or CERT team, effective this morning. The 26-year-old was off-duty when she was arrested by a San Antonio police officer around 2.30 this morning. Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation hearing coming to a close today after a heated week on Capitol Hill. Some Democrats and Republicans are using the hearings as a political platform platform ahead of the critical November midterms. We gave him the highest rating possible. This processor is a bit of a sham. I'm asking you a very direct question, yes or no. Seems you can't go anywhere downtown in San Antonio or to any major city these days without seeing electric scooters everywhere. And now Lyft and Uber are getting into the scooter business too. 40 military men and women getting the opportunity to see the World War II Korean and Vietnam War memorials built in their honor. The group is Flying out thanks to the nonprofit Honor Flight San Antonio. Never in my wildest imagination will I ever have believed I'd be sitting here today with a group from all the succeeding wars since then. Spam. Don't knock it till you fried it. Sizzle, pork, and mmm. San Antonio on Sunday, September 16th. I'll see you in hell in a cell. Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, the Universal Championship. It's WWE Hell in a Cell pay-per-view in San Antonio for the first time ever. Sunday, September 16th. Tickets are available. Ulysses, his sister Molly, Henry, who's seven. I want to be there with them, but more importantly, I want to anticipate the question that they're going to ask me in the years to come. When everything that mattered to us was on the line, where were you? Let's meet the pettiness, the bigotry, the anxiety that dominates so much of national life today with a courage, a strength, a big heart that could only be born of Texas. I'm Beto O'Rourke, and I approve this message. See the elephants, tigers, dogs, aerial axe, and world record holder human cannonball at the Shrine Circus. Enjoy the magnificent elephants while you still can and make memories for a lifetime. Bring the family one and all to the Shrine Circus. Come see the elephants at the Shrine Circus this weekend at Joe Freeman Coliseum. Come to the circus, the biggest show in town. I'm Mike. I'm Jed. I'm Mark. And we're lifelong farmers who had the crazy idea to start an all-organic farm in South Texas. Here at Tanaza Farms, our soil is the key to growing incredible organic produce for HEB. They buy almost everything we grow. Over half a million pounds of produce every year. Like beets, Swiss chard, and kale. They buy it as fast as we grow it. Guess we weren't so crazy after all. This is the Texas Organics Department at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. More and more people are finding themselves in a Chevy for the first time. You can too during the Chevy Labor Day sales event. Now use Labor Day cash to get a total value of $87.50 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus trade up and get an additional $32.50 total cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. This Labor Day, discover why Chevy is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. Coming up tonight on What's Up South Texas, we introduce you to a woman who is using her deafness to help other children and teens with hearing loss. Here how she's fighting to break down barriers between the hearing and deaf community. The thing that kept me back my whole life was being deaf, and all of a sudden it was that I, this could be the very thing that helps people. Plus, it's an ever-changing situation with the rain outside and the radar. We'll take a close look at that, along with the updated rainfall chances for the weekend on the Night Beat at 10. So we are expecting some pockets of heavy rain periodically throughout the weekend. I really think the bulk of it 
and the most widespread action would be Sunday morning with the best chance of flash flooding at that point. I like our future cast. I don't say that very often, but I like the way it portrays the rain. Tomorrow morning, yeah, mainly parts of the hill country, light in nature, then becoming scattered as we get into tomorrow afternoon. So a little more numerous in terms of the showers out there and a few thunderstorms, but then it picks up the activity as we get into Sunday morning with that frontal boundary moving in and even um, some upper level support dropping in as well. So flash flooding is a possibility as we get going through part of the weekend. All right, thanks Adam. And thanks for watching the six o'clock news. All right, we'll see you back here at 10 for the night beat.